Glimmers of unsettling memories lingered in the cozy ambiance of our suburban home. Every gaze Mira bestowed upon Liam held a touch too long, an ounce too intimate. Her tight, figure-hugging dresses during casual visits and the slick crimson sheen on her lips whispered alarming tales to my uneasy heart. You see, Elsie, Mira leaned in one afternoon, her voice as sweet and as sinister as dark chocolate. Men like Liam, they need excitement, mystery, a woman who keeps them on their toes. In her eyes, a flicker of triumphant mischief danced. Her words were like tiny daggers thrown meticulously at the fragile balloon of my trust. My fists clenched beneath the tablecloth, unseen, as I struggled to keep a neutral expression. That's funny, Mira, I remarked coolly. I was under the impression that honesty and genuine connection held a relationship together. She chuckled, a low and sultry sound. Ah, my naive little girl, that might be enough for you, but for a man like Liam, just watch and learn. Days transformed into a nightmarish reel. Her words, though vehemently denied entry, took root in my mind, growing, spreading, like an unwelcome weed. Every late night of Liam, every unanswered call, became a testament to Mira's warning. My heart sank further with each passing day as Liam's eyes, once alight with love and warmth, turned cold and distant. His touches became fewer, his smiles rarer, and his sweet nothing silenced. I yearned to reach into his mind, to understand the why behind our unraveling tapestry of love. Was it Mira's doing? Was it mine? One evening, Liam sauntered in, his eyes avoiding mine, but landing vividly on Mira, who sat with a smirk perched wickedly upon her lips. You look stunning tonight, he murmured to her, barely sparing me a glance. My heart twisted violently within its cage, an unbearable pain coursing through every fiber of my being. It couldn't be, could it? Was Mira's venomous narrative coming true, or was it a mere figment of my increasingly paranoid mind? A confrontation, that's what was needed, I mused. Yet, the thought of accusing my own mother of such betrayal, such vile, was akin to willingly thrusting my hand into a nest of vipers. As for Liam, would he deem my suspicions a manifestation of an insecure mind, thus providing Mira another victory? I need to talk to you, I whispered to Liam later, my voice barely escaping the tightness in my throat. His eyes met mine, and for a moment, just a moment, I saw the man I loved peer through the distant fog that had enveloped him. Honesty and genuine connection, remember? My voice trembled, revealing the vulnerability Mira so wished to expose. In the silence that followed, my heart paced, awaiting the verdict of its fate. But Liam remained silent, his eyes veering away, back into the chilling abyss of indifference. A night under the incandescent glow of fairy lights, my childhood home morphed into an enchanting arena where Mira masterfully played her nefarious game. Guests chatted animatedly, their faces illuminated by laughter and the soft lights. Liam and I entered, his hand lightly resting on the small of my back, yet his eyes, ever so slightly, shifted toward Mira. Oh, Elsie, darling, you look breathtaking, Mira gushed, embracing me with calculated warmth, her eyes smirking triumphantly over my shoulder. My throat tightened at her performance a show of motherly affection drenched in underlying malevolence. It's a facade, I reminded myself, clenching my fists subtly at my sides. And Liam, handsome as ever, Mira continued, her hand lingering just a moment too long on his arm. My eyes fixed on that hand, the invisible talons weaving an intricate web around my love, around my life. But the silent scream within me remained unheard, shackled by a debilitating concoction of despair and disbelief. You two must be tired. Let me show you around. Refresh your drinks, perhaps, Mira suggested, her voice a hypnotic melody that seemed to draw Liam unwittingly into her snare. My gaze followed them, the silhouette of Mira leaning in too close, whispering secret tales into Liam's ear, her laughter intertwining with his, stitching knots of dread into my soul. I turned away, my heart a hollow drum echoing a symphony of betrayal through the chambers of my chest when Jenna gently tapped my shoulder. Elsie, we need to talk. Her eyes, pools of genuine concern, met mine and I knew, without words being exchanged, the storm that awaited. In the secluded sanctuary of my old bedroom, her words pierced through the fragile bubble I'd encased myself in. Elsie, I saw Mira and Liam. There's something very off about the way she's behaving with him. 
I saw her whispering in his ear, her hand resting on his leg a tad too familiarly. I'm so sorry. Her apology lingered in the silence, intertwining with my shattered illusions of maternal love. A crescendo of anguish and anger rose within me, emboldening my resolve. I approached Liam, my voice steady, my eyes unyielding. Why, Liam? Why allow her this power, this proximity, when you see the wounds it inflicts upon us? He stared, those eyes, once a sanctuary, now veiled with mystery and a hint of unspoken secrets. She's your mother, Elsie, he began cautiously. I didn't want to create a scene, and she said, she said you might be seeing someone from your past, that you're unhappy with me. Is it true? My heart plummeted into an abyss of despair. How effortlessly Mira wove her malevolent tales, how seamlessly they were believed. Believe her, Liam, if that eases your conscience, if that justifies whatever has transpired between you two. But know this, I was true to you, to us. My departure left behind a haunting silence, a void where once love and trust had blossomed. Mira's web had successfully entwined around us, the threads of deception choking the life out of all that was once beautiful. I stood, a lone warrior amidst the debris of my heart and the woman who ruthlessly orchestrated its demise. Amidst the hallowed silence of my apartment, a resolute flame flickered, casting shadows upon walls that had witnessed the tumultuous tempest of emotions that had swept through my world. A plan began to take shape amidst the chaos, an unwavering resolve to disentangle the threads of Mira's insidious web and liberate Liam from its deceptive embrace. I won't let her win. I won't become a puppet in Mira's malevolent show, I muttered, the words a firm pact with my own shattered spirit. Old photographs, faded letters, and forgotten memories spread across the floor as I delved into the abyss of Mira's past, seeking threads that would unravel her tapestry of deceit. I discovered tales of manipulation, whispers of enchanting a slew of men, using their vulnerabilities as stepping stones for her own vicious victories. And at the heart of it all, an embittered love story with my father, poisoned by her own venomous veins. In the midst of my revelation, Liam was ensnared by Mira's web. Her voice, quivering with strategically crafted despair, echoed through his phone. Liam, I need you. There's been an accident, and I'm all alone. Liam, blinded by the intricate mask of vulnerability she wore, hurried to her side, unknowingly sinking deeper into her meticulously constructed trap. Back at Mira's house, I confronted her, my voice a simmering cauldron of rage and agony. How could you, Mira? Using your own flesh and blood, your daughter, as a pawn in your wicked game? Her eyes met mine, cold and unyielding, revealing a dark abyss where warmth and maternal love had never dwelt. Elsie, my darling, you were but a mere instrument in avenging my own betrayed heart. Your father, he chose his moral high ground over our love, and you, you are a living reminder of that betrayal. Her confession, devoid of remorse, hung heavily in the air, a noose around the remnants of a mother-daughter bond that had never truly existed. I loved him, Elsie, she continued, her voice a mere whisper. And he left abandoned me for a life rid of complex entanglements and moral dilemmas. You, Elsie, you were the symbol of his abandonment, a constant reminder of what could have been. Her words, though poisoned, unveiled the bitter truth of her twisted heart, and with clarity came my resolve, fortified against her malevolence. I uncovered texts, messages, seeds of deceit Mira had sown into Liam's mind. Tarnishing my image, she'd fed him tales of deceit, conjuring stories of secret meetings with an unnamed lover from my past, crafting a narrative that dripped with lies and betrayal. Standing at a crossroads, I was bound by a painful dichotomy. Unveiling Mira's deceit to Liam risked exposing him further to her manipulative clutches. Yet silence equated to surrender. A betrayal to the love that had once bound us together. And so, the threads further entwined, a relentless battle of morality, love, and deception— a whirlwind of emotions cascaded through me as I sat, hands trembling slightly, opposite Liam in the intimate ambiance of a bustling cafe. Every ounce of my being yearned for the shelter of his trust, the reassurance that the storm conjured by Mira's malevolence could be weathered together. Liam, there's something you need to see. I slid across the table, a small weathered box filled with evidence of Mira's twisted past, letters revealing her spiteful manipulations 
and photographs capturing moments of her calculated, venomous actions. Liam's eyes flickered over the contents, a kaleidoscope of disbelief, anger, and despair reflecting in his gaze. He looked up, eyes piercing mine, searching for answers in an abyss of shattered illusions. I... I had no idea, Elsie. The silence that ensued was almost deafening, laden with the weight of unspoken words and fractured trust. In that moment, our eyes spoke a silent language, conversing through the pain and the shards of a love that had been so cruelly manipulated by the very hands that had cradled it into existence. Liam, I've always been honest with you. Even now, amidst this chaos, I lay bare before you, shrouded only by the truth of my feelings for you. Liam clenched his fists, the veins on his forehead prominent as he wrestled with the storm within. A single tear escaped, tracing the path of his anguish as it cascaded down his cheek. How do we even begin to navigate through this, Elsie? How do I unsee the malevolence that has bled into every memory, every cherished moment? In the days that followed, Mira, blissfully unaware of the unraveling of her sinister tapestry, bathed in the imagined glory of her victory, concocting plans of a surprise getaway with Liam. Her voice, dripping with deceptive sweetness, reached out to him. I've planned something special for us, Liam. His response, however, was a symphony to my vindicated heart. Your games are over, Mira. The shock in Mira's voice was palpable, yet beneath it lurked a vile defiance. You think you've won, Liam? This isn't over. But it was. In the aftermath, Liam stood before me an embodiment of sorrowful repentance. Yet the specter of Mira's manipulation lingered between us, a chasm that could not be bridged. I'm so sorry, Elsie. I found a strength, born not of spite, but of a self-respect that had fought valiantly through the tempest. Liam, you were ensnared in a web that neither of us could see. But this, our love has been tainted by her venom. I choose to set you free, set us free. And thus... I walked away, bearing the scars of betrayal, yet victorious in my solitude. The narrative closed with Mira, isolated in the fortress of her deceit. Her malevolence returned to her in the form of desolation, whilst I found solace in a horizon unmarred by her venomous shadow, where the fragments of my broken spirit could be cradled back together in the gentle embrace of healing and self-love. The thread of deceit has unraveled, bringing our tale to its bittersweet end, Elsie chose herself over a love tarnished by manipulation and deception. But what if the strands of our story twisted differently? Would forgiveness find a space within the tortured chambers of Elsie's heart, if Liam had fought harder against Mira's deceit from the start? Could trust ever truly be rebuilt on the ruins left by a loved one's betrayal? Share your thoughts in the comments below and explore with us the labyrinthine corridors of love, trust, and redemption. If our stories weave a spell upon your heart, gently press the like button, and let's continue to unravel more tales together by subscribing to our Stories Animated, where emotions breathe and tales come alive through the tapestry of animation. Your presence embroiders our narrative with richer hues, and together, let's continue this enthralling journey through the kaleidoscope of storytelling.